Jim Mike 84 here back again. Pretty much we're going to do a little unboxing and review of the AMD Phenom 2 X6 1045T. This is the processor. Actually, uh, let me see if we can put this in. Uh, let's see a little bit more. This is a, uh, <clears throat> and a 6 core. This is the lo lowest end of the 6 cores of the uh, AMD Phenom 2. This is a 2.7 gigahertz. Uh, 2.7 and uh, turbo boost it goes at uh, 3.2 is a true 6 core um, 8 megs of cache total and it's a socket AIM3 and it comes with a heat sink and everything but uh, the reason why I get this is for a uh, Tiger Drive for 100 bucks and I decided to use this for rendering videos and etc um, uh, people are going to be saying why did I got this I should have got an FX so it's like you know right now for six core for a hundred bucks and it's uh mostly all my processors this is like my fourth phenom or a uh, fifth phenom already and this i'm just gonna just decided to stick with this one and i'm uh, let me open this up uh i never had any problem with the With uh, Phenom V4 AMD, I'm gonna just stick with this. Um, the board I just got did a review. Um, let's see what type of um, heat sink they come with. Yeah, traditional fan that I like this one's better. <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna use this. There's no need to. Uh, cannot wait the temperatures. I heard people do able to do push this at four gigahertz with no problem. With, just, just to let you guys know, this is, is a lock multiplier. It sucks, but uh, it, it's really good. I'm going to just inspect the, the CPU and everything before I install it. I never had any problem with uh, with AMD at all. Um, you get to see the, the difference between all the sockets they have and all that. AM3 Plus uh, it says it's compatible. means that... <clears throat> This is a revised uh, booklet. It means that it's um, with the new fan. You'll you'll know when they have it. So they had a leftover batch of these uh, CPUs left. So I cannot wait to, uh, to install this. See how the temperature goes. Uh, I'm hoping to see if I can push it at 4.25 gigahertz, just like my 960T. Hopefully uh, I could do it. I've seen people on some reviews they're able to do it at 4.4 or something. That's kind of crazy. But um, the wattage is 95 watt TDP. And all that you, you guys have any questions or anything leave a comment down below all right you guys uh hopefully good luck with the, uh, <laughs> wish me good luck for this all right um this is kill my kitty for us you guys a little bit later